My mom kind of always told us to build a relationship where we communicated really well, and that's something she always instilled in us was that like that level having having that level of communication with each other, where you can tell each other anything, express what you're feeling, um, and it's complete honesty and truth. Um, and the other thing too, I mean, she was such an advocate of unconditional love and what that was, and the way she showed that to myself and my father, like it was just, you know, you're there no matter what. And to me, that's what, that's what true love is. That's what real love is. My very first relationship, it was like, that's the one, you know? And I think we all kind of do that in the beginning. Um, and I, 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 I loved him unconditionally, I really did. But I knew that I wasn't taking care of myself and doing that. And I think I saw my mother do that in her life. She took care of everyone else and gave everything of herself, and gave everything of herself to people um, before herself. And I think in a way, I watched her really deviate from who she wanted to be and what was important for her to grow as a person, what was important for her to heal some of her wounds that she was kind of developing and experiencing in her life. And after my first relationship, that's when I really realized, you know, love yourself first before you love anything else. And that's how you'll be able to show somebody how to love you in return. Um, and I've done that. I, I took that time after that first relationship to really just get to know myself. And then I did it after the second and the third of the world, you know, as, as I've gone on. Um, and I've spent the last few years um, after hitting a certain point of knowing that I was so far from myself. I was so far from knowing and being aware of what I really need um, in order to feel nurtured. Um, and that's that, that time was just so important to should you get to know myself and to love myself. Um, so after my very first relationship, um, where I really didn't, I realized after I didn't really love myself as much as I should have, and I didn't really know myself, um, and I think that's really what led to its end. Um, it it was so important for me to, to love myself first so that I could express to that person what I really needed. Um, and also just to cultivate that type of love in, in the relationship is, is important. Otherwise, you're not going to feel the joy. You're not going to feel like you're wanting to be there. Um, you're going to find reasons you know, to pick things apart and to criticize. And that's not what love is. Um, yeah, and, and I think it's just, it's important to be in touch with yourself. It's important to be aware of yourself and to take that time, whether it be to cook or to walk or to play the guitar or whatnot. Um, take that time just for you, just to be aware of what your senses are, what what things make you tick, what things don't. Um, that's, I think, just anything in the world, really. That's how we build the best relationships, when we know ourselves the best and when we love ourselves.